Hello, beautiful souls. You were the only one there for me in my darkest times. I never got to thank you for that. I have grown up spiritually since I met you. My friends think I'm crazy when I bring up the term twin flame. My heart is overflowing with love for you. Not everyone comes across their twin flame, but if you do, it is a life-changing type of love, just like ours. I just cannot forget about you, no matter how hard I try, I'm haunted by the memories we shared. I have met a lot of women in my life. You are so different. You are the best woman I have ever had. Things between us got so intense so quickly. It really scared me. I would love us to get matching tattoos. Messages from your twin flame today. So many doubts about this twin flame connection. You are my first love. You are such a blessing. I'm so glad I met you. I'm healing energy right now. I can't forgive myself for what I've done to you. I would love to take you on a beautiful holiday so we can spend some one-on-one -on -one time together. I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought it was just a physical attraction between us. Now I'm aware that it is love. I never ever felt that I was good enough for you. You held a mirror up to me and shined a light on what I needed to heal within myself. I couldn't handle that. I'm sorry that I carried so much baggage into our connection. I let my insecurities get in the way. I thought you were too good to be true. Apparently, we only get one twin flame per lifetime, and you are mine. I want to pack my bags up right now and come to you and never leave you. Aside from the fact is that hurting you hurt me more. I still fantasize over your pics. I'm obsessed with your beautiful body. I couldn't work out exactly why I couldn't stop thinking about you until I googled twin flames. Now it all makes sense. I wasn't ready for the level of love you were offering me. I miss your daily text messages. They always brought a smile to my face. I've been trying to fight these feelings that I have for you. However, I realize there's no point. You've accepted my flaws, understood my fears, and accepted my brokenness, and made me whole. I think about you morning, noon, and night. I am very aware that there is unfinished business between the two of us. You are an earth angel in my eyes. Using a different deck now to get some more messages from your twin flame. I can't help mentioning you to my close friends or family members. I am so proud of everything you do. Wow, so this is what real love feels like. There is only you on my mind and in my heart. Thank you. I thought this was just lust, but I was not used to love flowing through me like this. My messages from your twin flame. The sounds of your laughter are like a drug to me. I want you to be happy, even if that means being without me. My greatest wish is to make you smile and feel safe around me. I find your inner wisdom really attractive. I feel like I've known you all my life, yet you are so mysterious. I daydream of our future together. From Divine Muscular. Type, yes, if you believe. God says your life is getting better and better. Your career and your love life are going to skyrocket. Good things are coming. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. Amen. In any event, if you pay attention, you'll notice the warning signals and they'll help you mentally prepare for what's to come. As a result of this positive energy, more optimism will be drawn into your life and things will begin to fall into place. You'll appreciate life's positive aspects and improve your own situation. You'll start to see things fall into place for you. The angels are speaking to you today. All the stress and turbulence in your life will vanish thanks to your angel. You'll lead a life that is graceful and full of bloom. Having said that, 
Your good fortune will likely arrive sooner rather than later since this is a fortunate period for you. Whatever business endeavors you undertake may experience significant progress. Make use of this message to lift your downcast mood. Keep in mind that the cosmos is always keeping an eye on you and will act in your best interests. I will send you help, healing, and resources. I will provide, I will make a way for you. All the resources of heaven are with you. Don't worry, I have your back. Loving God with your heart means to love Him with your life. Love God with your heart by living a loving, faith-filled, and purpose-driven life. This requires letting God lead the way. It means living each day in close connection with Him so we can recognize our calling. God says, you'll be elevated, you'll be restored, you'll be blessed. I know you are tired. It seems like your struggles will never end. When you overcome one thing, another storm appears. You seem like you cannot win for losing. Your faith is challenged every day, and you often wonder, where is my God? Why is this happening? But I have not forsaken you. I am working on your behalf 24 7 As a result of this positive energy, more optimism will be drawn into your life, and things will begin to fall into place. You'll appreciate life's positive aspects and improve your own situation. All the stress and turbulence in your life will vanish thanks to your angel. You'll lead a life that is graceful and full of bloom. Having said that, your good fortune will likely arrive sooner rather than later since this is a fortunate period for you. Whatever business endeavors you undertake may experience significant progress. Make use of this message to lift your downcast mood. Keep in mind that the cosmos is always keeping an eye on you and will act in your best interests. As a result of this positive energy, more optimism will be drawn into your life and things will begin to fall into place. You'll appreciate life's positive aspects and improve your own situation. A prayer to turn things around. God, this is not my everyday kind of prayer. Maybe it's because sometimes it feels like changing my circumstances is impossible. Support our community and donate us through super thanks, type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you. Bana, bana. For everything God did in the month of June, let's appreciate God for the gift of life, for health, for your family, and for everything he saved you from. Consciously tell God thank you. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm of wisdom. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. Say this prayer, send me a miraculous sign to show me how much you love me so that those who hate me will see it and be ashamed. Don't they know that you, Lord, are my comforter, the one who comes to help me? Declare aloud, I will shout for joy through this month. July will be a month of multiple celebrations in Jesus' name. Testimonies will never cease from my mouth because I am blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. David cried out to the Lord his God and said, Lord, it is nothing for you to help. God knows who belongs in your life and who doesn't. Trust and let go. Whoever is meant to be there will still be there, your Lord is speaking to you today. Consider these items in your house and your life for a moment. Do they add to your happiness and well-being, or do they bring you pain and negativity? Do they fit with God's plan and purpose for your life, or do they divert your attention from it? If you are called to get rid of these things, do so with thankfulness and intention. Release them with love and compassion after giving thanks for the lessons they have taught you. Let's now turn to God in prayer and with the aid of the Holy Spirit's guiding presence, give him praise for this magnificent message. And let us, in turn, pray. We come before you in prayer today, O Heavenly Father, asking for your direction and safeguarding as we purge anything from our homes and lives that is not in line with your will and purpose for us. 
As we get rid of any red or black paintings, candles, mirrors, red or black cushions, or other items that convey bad energies or disrespect your holy presence in our homes and lives, we pray for your courage and strength. The angel is saying to you today, the greatest gift is going to be delivered to you soon. The angels want you to unwrap the gift of happiness and bounty shortly. The angel wants you to think about beginning a relationship with them as soon as possible since they think they are the perfect fit for you. They are eager to please you because they have been waiting for this chance for a very long time, and they know that your feelings for them are sincere. Soon, your angel will shower you with countless joys, affection, and warmth. Keep an open mind to all the blessings that are coming your way. Be appreciative of your angel's actions and tell them you are fortunate to have someone who you can rely on. You need to remember that you're a gem wherever you are on your journey with whatever role you're fulfilling. You are about to enter a period of reformation and transformation. It follows that your life will manifest in the finest manner imaginable. In a few days, you will begin living the life of your dreams. Type the S if you believe in God. God bless you.